Welcome to Bods Mayhem Out. Your source for all hard rock, heavy metal, new metal, alternative, punk, horror punk, hardcore, rock, and all local bands with your host, John the Bod, a.k.a. The Bodfather. All right. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Zach Wild from Black Little Society. We're all doing the hang, and you're listening to Bod's Mayhem Hour. The views and opinions of the guests do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of Bod's Mayhem Radio Network, its staff, affiliates, or sponsors. Parental discretion is advised. Welcome to Bod's Mayhem Radio Network. Hey everybody, welcome to Bod's Mayhem Hour. I'm your host, John the Bod, a.k.a. The Bod Father. As always, I'm bringing you guys awesome interviews. Today, it's an honor and a privilege to have Mr. Josh Kessler on the phone. He is the Director of Sales and Marketing. Correct. That is it. Of Appalachian Wireless Arena, formerly known as the East Kentucky Expo Center, now renamed Appalachian Wireless Arena here in Eastern Kentucky. And they have some really awesome events coming up, such as concerts, expos, comic cons, and hopefully they will still carry the Halloween on Main. Josh, how's it going, man? Good, man. Thank you for having me on. I appreciate it very much. No problem whatsoever. So let's dive right into this because I am very excited on what you guys are attempting to do with this new ownership and everything. So let's jump right into this. So the East Kentucky Expo Center has been around for many years in Eastern Kentucky. After being renamed mm-hmm. Appalachian Wireless Arena, is the mission still the same, and is there more of an excitement now with the Appalachian Wireless Arena with the new management? Well, here's the thing about it: a lot of people don't realize what what this is. Is it's just a sponsorship, so it's a naming rights. Been working on it for three years to you know get that finalized. There's no no new management. We're still City of Pipeville. We're still the East Kentucky Exposition Center Corporation. Still City of Pipeville ran. We have a a naming right now to our arena, which gives us that high expectation, that that easier way to get bigger name concerts. They see that people are willing to take a gamble on us, so it helps us overall for the show process. What was some of your expectations with this brand, That with everything that's going on right now? Is everything still the same? I mean, what are you guys working on right now that's going to be coming in here possibly soon for this? Oh, yeah. Well, with, we're, with the new GM, uh, you know, Paul Bowles, he's from Salem, Virginia. He just he started not even a year in, and he's already putting these shows out. Uh, we've already got more than we had last year. Um, we're trying to appeal to all audiences as far as our Christian shows that we have now. We have a little outlaw country. We have country. We have heavy metal. We have rock. We have we just now put out a show that is it's the uh, the Janis Joplin show, which is a Broadway show. So it's it's we're trying to give appeal to all audiences, and that's what we're trying to do, you know, with this new new naming right change and our our new management that are actually taking over. You know, as far as our GM, you know, he's a new manager, he's our new GM, and he's really putting us in the right direction. I feel like now this Janis Joplin tour that's coming in here. Now this is a, a basically like a theater type deal, right? It is. It's actually presented by the Appalachian Center for the Arts in Pipeville. That used to be the Jenny Wiley Theater. They're presenting the show, and we're having it over at the Appalachian Wireless Arena. It's going to be a great time. If you're a Janis Joplin fan, this is right down your alley because this girl looks like her and acts like her. And um, as far as it goes, it gives you the whole Janis Joplin experience. Would you like to see more shows like that come into the uh, Appalachian Wireless Arena? I mean, honestly, it, I like the, the whole variety that's happening right now. I like what, what he's bringing in as far as, you know, we've got a show for everybody. If you say there's nothing to do in Eastern Kentucky, you're, you're totally mistaken. Yeah, that's what I tell a lot of people. I know you guys haven't got a lot of shows that I like, but now, you're, but now you guys are. I mean, you've got Black Label Society, which we're going to talk about that here in just a little bit. But you guys are getting stuff that's going to bring revenue in specifically to Eastern Kentucky, like country, bluegrass, stuff like that. And that's cool. I like that. So let's talk about this a little bit. <laughs> we got Black Label that's that's coming in here October 2nd. Now, mm-hmm. how long have you guys been working on that to get them in here? Specifically, like, I know you guys haven't had a lot of metal rock that's came in here lately, 
How long has this been a push to bring a big band like this in here? Well, it's been a push since the new GM got in. You know, our own management didn't really push for this. You know, not not bashing that by any means, but right, right. you know, our new GM wants to bring a variety in, and that's where you know Black Label comes in. We, you know, the assistant GM was like, "Yes, let's give this a try." Told our GM, "Let's go for it," and you know, that's that's how it happened. And I'm I'm really I love pushing it out there. I think people are eating it up. I think it's going to do really well. And I think it's going to go over strong enough that we get more more metal, more rock, more rock variety in the arena. What big rock band or metal band would you like to see personally come in here, man? I mean, honestly, I, the more the merrier. I mean, I'm not just going to single out one. You know, we'd love to have – here's the thing. People have said for years that we're all about country. We're all about – here's the thing. We're all about trying to bring revenue into this area. Sure. We're all about heads and beds. We're all about, you know, people going out and eating in the local restaurants. We're all about the local economy. So that's what we can do. We're bringing in these shows that folks want to see instead of them traveling to Cincinnati or traveling to to Columbus or traveling to Dallas, Texas. You know, wherever they're going, they're going to stay local and support the local growth of the economy. Josh, is there any type of expo, concert, Comic Con, or even a horror convention you would like to see come into the, the arena possibly? I'm always I'm a, I love listen I love every any type of music I love the the cons they're so cool watching everyone dress up and have a good time I love the the horror cons I used to actually go to those that, that I love to actually see some of those actually come in here which I, I think we're close to that I think that'll happen before too long but yeah you know Kent Lady from the Eastwood brings in the Comic Con it's it's a good time we get a a different variety of patron. That would come in for that compared to come into to like a uh, a Paw Patrol event or come into like a Travis Tritt event. You know what I mean? So we're, we're bringing a new – we're introducing people to the arena that's never really paid attention before and trying to cycle them through and let them see there's more there's more to Eastern Kentucky than your typical country show or your typical, you know, just your – the norm. We're trying to give – let them see there's a variety – of shows and that's what we're going to offer folks and and this is something crazy that i've been here and i'm glad i got you on here just to clarify all this you know a lot of folks are saying well this is just a test run to see if we can get this sold out or even maybe get a half sold out to get more bands in here you know Mm -hmm. it may not just be this certain band that can sell out you know what i'm saying black label which Mm -hmm. to me they should but you know they're not everybody's cup of tea and i understand that but correct if you get another huge rock band that come comes in it I mean, this is well worth it. I mean, this is what we need. And I, I agree with you. We don't need to go to Ohio or Louisville or Lexington. We can come Correct. to the Appalachian Wireless Arena and watch it. Correct. Correct. I agree. I mean, that, that's what we're trying to let people know is, hey, you can watch it here. You know, we can bring these in. Here's the thing. If we do better than their national average, we'll get eyes on us. That's just how it goes. That's fantastic. You're not going to have a, a sellout. You know what I mean? If, if you have a sellout, that's fantastic. If you don't, it's it, it's going to be okay because you got to look at how it's selling overall nationally. You know, if we're beating the numbers or we're right with the numbers of the bigger bigger cities, the bigger venues, then we're we're doing the right things. Yeah, and, and I hope this grows. I hope that people understand this. You know, for metalheads like me and, and others out there, this has been a battle for us to get folks in here like this. And I'm glad that oh, yeah. you guys are, are doing this now. Yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, people will, will talk about it and talk about it and say, hey, well, this will do good, this will do good. Well, here's the thing. We, we, we have to test it, too. There's promoters that are testing the waters as well. Sure. They want to make sure that they're getting their, their money's worth as well. They're making sure that this works for them. It's not about us. It's not about us at all. If there's a tour coming through, we're going to try our best to get it. That's that's the thing about it. But you know, if if it doesn't make sense for the promoter, then they're not gonna, they're not even going to look at us. Yeah, I mean, I remember back in the day when you guys had Stain that came through, Alice Cooper, mm-hmm. Godsmack, Poison, Avenged Sevenfold. You know, mm-hmm. Sebastian Bach and Soil, to name a few. Those are bands that I would I would go right now and see anywhere right now. So, yeah, I agree. I just can't say how much this is cool. And how much this is a huge, huge statement for metalheads to to get Black Label in here. And Josh, what do you hope 
when the folks come out to see this show, especially Black Label Society fans or anybody that just wants to come out and enjoy this show, what do you hope that mm-hmm. they take away from it when they leave that show and go home? I'll, well, I hope they take away that you don't have to go to these big, the big giant arenas to see a really good show. I mean, Black Label is in your own hometown. You just got to come out and support it. We need support for these shows so that more tours will come and knock on our door. That's how it works. But we want people to always walk away smiling and with that great concert feeling. I mean, we want them to say, well, God, that was the best concert I've ever been to. Mm -hmm. Not for the fact that even if it wasn't the music, if it was our staff, if it was the way they were treated, that's what we're going to, we want them to walk away. Now, folks, also they have the third annual Pipeville Comic Con coming up August 3rd. They've also got October 26th, the Charlie Daniels Band, which is awesome. If you like that style of music with Charlie Daniels, I mean, how can you not go wrong with Charlie Daniels? I mean, in my opinion. And you throw in the Kentucky Headhunters, too. They're with him, too. So that that's just a party. Oh, there you go. There you go. There's Blackstone Cherry uh, roots in there, too, with that band. So, you know. Exactly. <laughs> Very true. Uh, man, just, hey, just a little teaser for you, John. Mm-hmm. There may be something like that coming real soon, too, old buddy. Oh, don't make Granddad get happy over here now. I'm telling you, just just FYI, I've got two announcements left in the end of the month. So I'm just saying, just just uh, hold on there for something really, really cool. So I mean, hang on tight. We, me and Josh may be working on some stuff here, so you may never know about <laughs> Mayhem Hour is going into the And I only do this, folks, to help people come to these shows. I do it not just for me, not for Josh. I do it for everyone that's listening and everybody who's a fan of music. That's the way it should yeah. be. Come out, support, do everything you can because we all need this. I agree. I agree 100%. Like I said, bring it out, come support, and like I said, bigger bigger and better things will will just come to the door. That's just how it works. Folks, you want to get out and check out the Appalachian Wireless Arena website. Also, you want to check out these concert dates. It's it's coming up, like I said, August 3rd. You've got the third annual Pipeville Comic Con. September 30th, a night with Janis Joplin. October 2nd, the Mighty Black Label Society, King Zach, as I call him, <laughs> the Mighty Zach Wilder. <laughs> and October 26th, the Charlie Daniels Band with the Kentucky Headhunters. You want to get out and check that out. So, Josh, my friend, how can folks stay in touch with you guys? Tickets, tour dates, everything that they can figure out, how can you do that? They go to www.appalachianwildsarena.com, or you can like us on all of our social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, you can stay in touch with us. You can call us if you have any questions, 606 444 5500. Everybody, stick around. We got some great, great stuff coming up, and you only hear these interviews right here on Bod's Mayhem Hour and Bod's Mayhem Radio Network. Please get out and check out our Facebook page. It has our YouTube link, podcast link, and sooner Twitch link. Please subscribe and like our YouTube page because everything and all is going to be on our YouTube page for Bod's Mayhem Hour. And also, Check out Appalachian Wireless Arena's website for all the upcoming shows. And please, folks, they are not going to disappoint. Trust me. Thank you so much, Josh. Thank you. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.